All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the best map, Black Hearts Bay. However, I am not playing one of my best characters. First time in a while, we have played Phoenix. Let's see how things go today. I was looking at Phoenix's talent diversity and there wasn't very much to it, to say the least. Oh, let me go ahead and teleport out here. But uh, I think we have a pretty standard build for the character, at least these days, that we are going to try. So my Q ability allows me to do damage around me in a circle, like you just saw. My W ability swaps back and forth between two different phases. One is a more long range setup, uh, like this right here, where I shoot chunkers into the enemy team. And one is a bit shorter range, but much faster firing, allowing me to apply more pressure if I can stay in range. The talent diversity seems to really sway. Oh God, oh Lord, thank you. Thank you, that's enough. I've had enough, thank you. <laughs> God, that morale ceiling's ridiculous. Uh, the talent diversity seems to be skewing heavily into the repeater cannon. So we'll try to make that work today. Uh, just don't expect any advice in this video, I guess. Uh, for the Golden Ring series, we've been uh, doing a thing where I, I show our beginning games and show how, ch how, how clunky and awkward everything is. But then we basically have a, a rocky montage of us getting better. You gotta start somewhere, right? Uh, objective is up. I should have gone straight to it, but I did not. Let's see if we can get in there and help out with their tank on the chest. I'm a little concerned, but we're doing a pretty good job. With our level one talent, I think I have to move after each attack, and then that'll give me an increase of damage dealt with my repeater cannon. So just quick movement should be all that I need to do after every fight. Yeah, it goes from 90 to 126. So he's just the Marine Micro God. That could, does kind of make sense on a StarCraft character, I suppose. Let me get out of that before it stuns me. What's my damage? Am I being rewarded for this? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, basic attacks against slowed heroes with repeater cannon active gain 10% movement speed, stacking up to 40%. I think our Q slows targets. So if I land a Q on someone like this D.Va and then continue to attack her, all of a sudden, I'm almost as fast as she is when she's boosting away. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you guys have any tips you'd like to share for Phoenix... Please do so in those YouTube comments. I go through and I read them every time we have a new character that we're taking a look at. And a lot of times, very, very helpful stuff. And it does land the root on me in the minion wave. Looks like the friendly team got the first turn in. Things seem to be going well. I'm hyper fixated on just kind of what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie. It looks like I have accumulated half a kill from killing off a diva mech. It's only to heroes that I get the bonus, it seems, for moving. There is a small fight going on underneath us. Let's see if I can teleport in, in time. No, I cannot. That teleport has a 17 second cooldown. Once we hit level seven, the teleport, which is any moment, is going to give me attack speed. So if I be aggressive and I teleport into a confrontation, we could do a lot of upfront damage as I teleport. So, just keep moving, and that's also giving me movement speed. I like that. I like that a lot. I'll try to focus on some other builds, too, that aren't just focused on uh, the repeater cannon. As we progress the golden ring for this character, too. Looks like D.Va is out of the mech again. All right, I'll just go back to middle lane. My shield seems to come back pretty fast. That's kind of my defensive thing. I was under the impression that I would be saving my teleport mostly for... Uh, getting away from things just like that. And I kind of, I, I can soak up a bit of damage. I can soak up a thousand damage with the shield, teleport away and not lose any health theoretically. But it seems like uh, that has been flipped on its head and I'm gonna try to be more aggressive with the teleports. No one turning in for the enemy team even though they have enough. Samuro down in the bottom lane. You wouldn't be the real one, would you? He was. He was for a second. Do I still have my movement speed? <laughs> Hold on, I'll swap to the... 
I swapped to the- Oh, get him! Hold on, just nano me. That gives movement, right? Real one's there. Good job. Does he have coins on him? Why are we doing this? <laughs> uh, not able to interrupt the May in time. Uh, I'm going to try to teleport in and get damage on this Anduin in the back. They're not peeling for him at the moment. So far, it's looking good. I think he'll have a root. There it is. I still have quite a while on my teleport being available. I'm going to have to run away from Jaina. I don't want to take that damage. Uh, I could swap over to the Chunker for an AoE here as they're chasing Morals. If they engage on me in this area, I should be okay. Uh, I'm going to go here and then teleport towards D.Va. Oh, I was hoping to catch her in the bush. I think that was decent movement. I think it was okay. Uh, if we're getting wall, which we are, I'm definitely going to be taking the planet cracker here. <laughs> they won't be able to move out of that box, and I'll just send that damage right down it. Does planet cracker damage buildings? It's a 100 second cooldown. That's a long time to check. I'm going to check. It does not. Okay. Oh! Oh! Uh, I don't have a shield, so if D.Va jumps in, I am kind of scared. They don't have 10. Okay, fall back. Fall back. Keep in mind, I come from a time when Sergeant Hammer could win a game single-handedly with... Missiles coming off the map, destroying every building in a line, and then repeating after a 12-second cooldown. So you never know. Something like that still may exist. The planet cracker might melt something. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to teleport forward now. Keep that damage up. <gasps> oh. Well, well played. Well played. Jaina coming down as well. The ice circle already used, so we're relatively safe. Finish off that damage. Uh, I am trying to kite this way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, especially not with Samuro chasing me down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have a permanent shield, which regenerates 10% per second after not taking damage. Oh, so I can even be in combat, theoretically. As long as I'm not taking damage. Okay. Well, so far our damage is very high. Turns out I'm good at clicking. Jane is doing pretty well herself on the enemy team. Is Planet Cracker a real global? Oh, my, it is, yeah. So we'll interrupt this turn in, guaranteed. Our Jahan is doing a great job of delaying for the time being, though. Diva looking to go for the channel again. Let's get our W on her right away. I didn't check to see if this was a blind build May, and maybe I should. Oh, and this is looking like a pretty big wrap around here. Light bomb on me. All of a sudden, I am isolated as the team is backing up. Okay. Were we zoned out by Samra? Oof. Um, okay. I can try to stick with morals more. And try to peel off this aggression. I've been trying to apply that aggression to the enemy uh, backline. It's not working out as well for me. So we'll swap it up. We'll try to peel. Um, we'll also have armor after teleporting now. Can I teleport over something like this? Oh, nice. Beautiful. Great job. And I didn't even take any health damage there. It all went to my shields. I know when Phoenix first came out, he's been reworked since then. The big way of playing him was to get the chunkers out on the uh, phase bomb and then swap to repeater for one shot and then swap back because you ended up putting way more DPS down range. But I think he's been reworked to incentivize staying in phases. At least that's the impression that I got. Oh, oh the bomb didn't work this time. Redemption has come. 
Perfect. Uh, we have a phenomenal push here as well. Uh, I'll take the stim now. If you have it. I'll just start pushing. We'll get these buildings down. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I can't move it up. I felt that one in my soul. Ooh, that one hurt deep down, deep down. Every time I try to go be aggressive, that's what happens. You heard it, the bloodlust. I was calling for a stim before there was even a fight. Okay. Good knockback on the Jaina, keeping her at range. It looks like the York might be able to... There it is, the final swing. If you can keep up the damage on Anduin, I have a planet cracker that we can use. It's 20 seconds on the wall. I'm gonna send it here. Hey, that was a good move. That was a good move. I don't feel bad about that. Okay. Uh, I have not been focusing on my normal thing I excel at on this map either, which is picking up as many of these coin camps as I can. I imagine with a shield, we'd be pretty good at it. Every third base attacks against heroes while repeater cannon is active. Uh, deals an additional 6% of their maximum HP. My goodness. So he can tank shred too. Look at that. He can tank shred too. Looks like the team did pick up a kill on D.Va down in Bont. The objective still firing off for the enemy team. We'll take down our tier two middle turret. Jaina is close by. I'm just going to teleport early so I can scurry away a little bit faster. And we'll let her have that vision. That's okay with me. I don't even need it. I already got the coin camps. That's what I was after. Uh, enemy team at least was scouting the coin turn in. Jaina's still top. So if we could fight now, this is an excellent time to do so. Um, we'll let Leoric go for the turn in. I'm not being aggressive. I'm defending. I'm defending the zone. <laughs> good job, good job. And while that's going off, we can get these. Uh, Samro didn't push too hard. Jaina didn't push too hard. Uh, but that is changing now. I think I will back after this. Try to make sure that doesn't get too much value. It's just a single night camp right now, but the mini wave is coming in behind it. it looks like Jane is still pushing a little bit there. We have six coins right now. That's all of our team's coins. So I do need to protect those. Very, very important. Also important to kill the mage here first. And then I'm gonna swap over to the AOE and kind of hit the whole wave. I think when I was playing Phoenix for the last A through Z as well, we were focused on like a very Q oriented build, but everything that's, that's getting high win rates on them now is all W. Enemy team also got boss. It's not too big of a deal. Boss on this map's pretty bad. It takes them quite a while to get through the wall just because of the orientation. He ends up hitting the gate a lot. Unless they fix that, and I wasn't aware of it. So I should probably teleport here. Wow, that attack speed is crazy. Oop, oop, didn't move. There's a fight going on down beneath us. That's a pretty good planet cracker. We'll send that down. Oh, very nice. And I'll keep hitting this. <laughs> I'm over here on the nice northern side of the map. I hear the waves and the seagulls. Meanwhile, chaos, death, and destruction on the other half. Okay, let's get down there. This wave's fine. It doesn't need me. Actually, I'm going to soak it because it has a cannon and we're getting close to 20. Okay. Okay, I'm coming, team. I should probably clear that too, though. We're not fighting over anything anymore. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That damage was really good. Hold on. Oh, my God. And then I just go clear. That was the even without moving. Well, I, I just teleported in, got my attack speed buff and just stood still. Uh, level 20, I think gives me even more attack speed. Well, I am gonna have to move a lot, actually. That is gonna be a lot of moving. 
let me grab this coin camp. That brings my total up to eight. Goodness gracious. Uh, the team has enough now, so let me move over here. Uh, does Leoric have any? We're going to need Leorics as well. This will just take down the middle defense, so we're still a little behind, actually. But we should be looking for a fight because we have 20s. If we can. If we can find a pick anywhere. Um, we have a big advantage right now that they will soon also have. We should have some pretty quick wave clear bottom. We need the orc with us too. Oh, I tried to fucking teleport. I couldn't. It rooted me, that's why. Oh, we're getting flanked. I'll kill this really quick. Oh my god. I can't get out. Too many clones. Oh! Ah! I tried to plant it crack. We got booped. Looks like Maddie is not going to be able to get away either. Oh, chaos and destruction above as Leoric dies as well. Fuck. Maybe they'll get distracted by coins and they won't go and kill the building. This is looking like they might. 38 seconds until I respawn. We'll be here with Morales. Uh, yeah, we'll, we can hold. We can hold. Are they going for the other box? It's not. Oh, they are going for the other box. Perfect. Okay. We do have a little bit of siege going on down here, but it looks like we will have time for our defense. Level 20 town. What are you talking about? I picked it forever ago. It's been. It's been. Repeat. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Uh, Siege is coming down. Oh, we're talking about flash freeze. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry. There was a. Okay, got you. <laughs> I'm just assuming everything I'm doing is the wrong thing. <laughs> so I was I was ready to be like, what do you mean? I did pick my 20. Uh, we have no vision of anything. They just got the objective again. This means we are going to lose this building, but not lose our core. They could kill it pretty fast. They could also bait us out and try to backdoor it. It looks like we do see... Okay, here's my tech speed. Just let it rip. Yeah, get out of that, bud. Yeah, get out of that, bud. Yeah, get out of that, bud. Jana's trying to solo the court. No way in hell she does. And we stopped the nuke. Guys, we need it. Mount up and go middle. Mount up and go middle. Mount up and go middle. Killing spree. We kill core. We kill core. Especially, uh, we have another fucking stim. We have stim for core. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm gonna let Leoric go first. I'm going to teleport in. I don't get a bonus for moving against buildings. But I should still use my Q for more damage. What the fuck is that cooldown? <laughs> Woo! All right. Lots of things to improve on. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things. But we still focused up and got it. MVP. Oh. Oh, I tell when I teleported when I teleported, it interrupted the stem drone cast. Is that what she think happened? We can go back and watch the footage. I'm gonna teleport in. 
Well, that was mobile offense, target acquired, warp warfare, planet cracker, uh, a danium shell, offensive cadence, and singularity charge. A lot of the most successful builds for Phoenix look identical to this with just some variation at 13, 7, and 1.